Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Construction of a multi-purpose classroom block at Dreamjide in the Doma Central Municipality of the Bono region is near completion. As Stanley Nee Blue reports, the intervention comes after TV3 Mission aired the story about the danger the structure posed to teachers and pupils. The Jindidie Basic School has more than 100 pupils attending from four adjoining communities to get formal basic education. In March this year, when the mission team visited the school, the team reported about the deplorable condition under which kindergarten pupils receive education. Structure sheltering them had deteriorated over the years, posing danger to pupils and their teachers. The availability of the school feeding program had increased enrollment, but teachers were worried much had not been done by authorities to address the infrastructural challenge of the school. District Chief Executive for Doma Central, Dresa Watara, then assured the mission team of the Assembly's commitment to address the infrastructural challenge of the June GDA school. Three months ago, when the mission team visited the school, the Municipal Assembly had awarded the project on contract and work was at the foundation stage. Municipal Chief Executive for Doma Central said the project had been scheduled to be completed within eight months. As an assembly, um, our area of priority has always been education, especially uh, the preschool, talking about the kindergarten, what have you. So as I promised you the last time, um, we've been able to get some funding from the district development facility. And uh, as our priority, we thought that we should go straight into um, the building of those you know, structures, I mean the kindergarten um, blocks that you are seeing now. So if you go to Kofiasia, um, we've started one over there. If you go to Jain Gidim, we have also started another one there, uh, making sure that uh, we give our young ones a befitting place to study. The team then decided to follow up on the project. The new kindergarten block, which had been designed to include two classrooms, restroom, indoor play area, washrooms with a water storage system had been roofed, while doors and window frames have been fixed. Head teacher of the school, Justin Duchebe, is happy the project would change the fortunes of the school. Yes, the old structure is still posing a danger to the teachers and the pupils over there. As of now, anything can happen at any time because the roof is halfway gone, the walls are not strong, so if strong wind blows, Anything at all can happen. I am quite sure that when the project is finally completed, a lot of things, especially those that are needed for teaching and learning to take place at the KG level, will be provided. And that alone will attract other people who are at home. And when they come and they have the access to play with whatever that is available to them, it will help retain them in the, in the, in the, in the school. Meanwhile, more resources will be needed to also address challenges at a primary level. Let's go to the western region where the Benso Secondary Technical School in the Takwa and Suaye municipality has received a multi-purpose assembly block from the Wasafiasi Traditional Council. The bamboo-cladded assembly hall was demolished after TV3 Mission reported on the infrastructural challenges of the school. The Benso Senior High School is one of three second cycle institutions in the Takwan Swayem municipality. The school, located at the outskirts of Benso community, is seriously challenged, but its authorities remain focused on delivering on their mandate. As a boarding school, infrastructure is inadequate and overstretched. In February this year, when the mission team visited the school, a makeshift dining hall also serves the purpose of an assembly hall. Teachers describe the structure as an eyesore. Two other classroom projects being undertaken by the Takwan Swaye Municipal Assembly and the Get Fund have stalled, making it difficult for the school to admit more students. 
Six months after TV3 mission aired the challenges of the school, the Wasafia State Traditional Council and the Takon Swaya Municipal Assembly intervened. The Wasafia State Traditional Council replaced a bamboo cladded structure with a decent infrastructure, while the Takwa and Swaya Municipal Assembly also moved in to complete its stored classroom block. The school's broken down bus has also been repaired. Yo, yes, she was safe. You are sicker, Ebba. Oh, yeah, was a ha. No, 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 yes, you know, in Guasia, my tea, Tasha Council Transi. And you hear, sir, sir, Bamboo, never the eye, Danny Horn, on Fatter, Ben, so, or you was safe, you are sick. The Oma, you're to young also. My council, no, a ye scared two hundred thousand Ghana cities. Ah, a down, no, you go so, you read, yeah, but. Is here, make us say you were 95%. Takon Swaye Municipal Chief Executive Gilbert Kenneth Asma said the assembly is keen on improving education. The headmistress of the school was grateful for the impact TV3 mission has made in the school. As you saw the other time that you were here, there was a bamboo structure that we were using as dining hall and uh, assembly hall. In fact, those days when we were at assembly, some people had to sit outside because we couldn't just, the block could not just contain us. But now the situation has changed, in fact. The Bansu Senior High School has had one of its problems addressed, but would require more assistance to address the dormitory and classroom challenges. Existing girls' dormitory is overstretched, while five classrooms accommodate the boys. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU.